All right, so summertime means that your kids might be hitting the field to get active, right? right. Uh, baseball, soccer, young athletes, though, are encouraged to dream of playing big in college or even professionally. Right. One injury, though, can end an entire career. Yeah, and for more on how to keep our kids safe and healthy, we're going to turn to uh, Dr. Matt Dagger. He is an orthopedic surgeon from Kansas City University. And when it comes to kids playing uh, all kinds of sports, uh, you know, what are you seeing in your practice when you've got kids coming in? Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of our youth athletic injuries are overuse. In fact, uh -huh. like 50% of youth injuries are from overuse, which is really sad because those are theoretically preventable. And so a lot of these overuse injuries are mainly uh, sports where you're an overhead athlete and you're using one extremity all the time. And a big like impact from that is just the early specialization that we're doing in the year round sports at an early and early age. That's been a huge contributor to our injury patterns. So how do you treat an injury that's just from overuse? Is it just giving it a break? Yeah, thankfully most of these we can treat conservatively rest, anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, activity modification, those are big things. Mm -hmm. Watching out for signs of fatigue and just taking a break. Thankfully, most of them we don't have to perform surgery on unless they fail conservative treatment, but unfortunately we're seeing more and more just not just overuse injuries that fail, but also traumatic injuries as yeah. well. Well, let, let's talk about something that like, it occurred to me, baseball, repetitive overuse, a throwing motion. Uh, you've served on a state committee to advocate lowering the number of pitches that young athletes could throw in a season. And uh, maybe it's, what I'm getting at is coaching. Is, is that message getting through to coaches? Yeah, it is. And pitch counts was the big focus of that committee. And we were focused on limiting the number of pitches a baseball or softball player could perform in one game. And that was a huge impact, but it's not all we can do. Unfortunately, while that's made some improvements and it's raised some awareness about looking for signs of fatigue, the big thing is just the early specialization in year-round sport uh, and before, a single sport. Next question here. So can you, can you break down the ages and the number of pitches that our, that our kids are allowed to throw during uh, Little League games? Yeah, so there's a couple guides online that you can look at. Um, for Stop Sports Injuries has some guides online. State by state, it, differs, it, it, it differs by as far as pitch counts. Um, and club teams don't have to have the same necessary requirements as the state does. So oh. there's definitely some differences. Okay. Okay. depending upon it but so, having a coach and parents that are really watching for signs of fatigue that fatigue when a pitcher is fatigued really leads to an exponential increase in injury yeah so like a 14 year old how many pitches would he be limited to in a game so in baseball it depends you want to do definitely depends on the number of days of rest and everything but you want to keep it around 80 or okay. so okay okay and is it the same for softball, you know, uh, for the, the female sports? Yeah, and we don't think about softball as much as baseball, you know, because there's some different motion in sure. baseball and softball pitchers. But the natural motion of underneath, at least it's been referred to that, does see a different type of injury pattern. Okay. Nonetheless, we still see overuse injuries in that area as well. Did you play fast pitch softball when you I were did. a kid? I did, yeah, but I also played volleyball and basketball. Surprisingly, I was never hurt in softball, but I was hurt in every other sport. So. Wow. Yeah. So, Whatever. but and that <laughs> and that just goes to our next question here. Yeah. How, what do you talk to parents about helping to like prevent overall injuries from kids who may be a multi-sport uh, student athlete? Yeah, multi-sport athletes are great because you're doing different <clears throat> type of activities, but you want to watch for fatigue. If you're doing more activities at the same time, that does lead to fatigue. One thing that we all as parents want to do is make sure our kids have the best opportunity, right? I have four young kids. Want to make sure that they have every opportunity they can. And so there's all these societal pressures to push for more, more, more. Mm -hmm. But in the end, all the literature points to there's two things that result from all this early specialization year-round sports, and that's unfortunately increased injuries and increased burnout. Wow. Mm. They are so fun, but man, you gotta, you've got to be careful. Well, they're supposed to be fun. Yeah. And that's what we need to focus more on is the fun. What? Don't throw so many curveballs, all right? Yeah. Just keep them fastballs on the outside of the plate, all right? All right. Dr. Matt Daggett. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so Good much for coming you. in. No, it's a pleasure. Thank you. So